configuration. Users often highlight the speed and smooth performance, especially for tasks like web browsing, video editing, and light gaming. The efficiency of the M1 allows for a fanless design in devices like the MacBook Air, making it completely silent during use. Battery life is another strong point, with some users reporting up to 18 hours of use on a single charge, which is impressive compared to Intel-powered counterparts. The M1 also runs macOS natively, providing better optimization and system stability, and the transition from Intel chips to Apple Silicon seems seamless. Apps that have been updated for M1 are noticeably faster, and even older apps run well thanks to Rosetta 2, Apple's translation layer. However, there are some limitations to the M1. One key drawback is the limited RAM, with a maximum of 16 GB, which might not be sufficient for power users, especially for demanding tasks like 3D rendering or video production at a professional level. The GPU is integrated, meaning it's not as powerful as dedicated graphics cards found in higher-end Macs, which could be a concern for those into heavy gaming or professional graphics work. Another downside is that the M1 only supports a single external display, which is restrictive for users who prefer a multi-monitor setup. The transition to Apple's proprietary chip also means that some legacy software may face compatibility issues, especially for applications that haven't been updated for M1's ARM architecture. Overall, the M1 chip is a groundbreaking achievement for Apple, delivering impressive performance and energy efficiency, though it may not be suitable for users with very specific high-end computing needs.